The Utes' first home game is set for here at Rice Eccles on October 10th, but some Pac-12 athletes say they're willing to sit out this season if some compensation and health demands aren't met. This is the page that got the hashtag We Are United trending Sunday morning. The Players' Tribune website posted a list of demands with the author named only as players of the Pac-12. The piece begins with 15 reasons for the athletes joining together. One reads, because NCAA sports exploit college athletes physically, economically, and academically, and disproportionately harm black college athletes, we are united. Another says, because we should not be stuck with sports-related medical expenses, including COVID-19-related expenses, we are united. That list is followed by four groups of demands, ranging from COVID safety standards to student-athletes' pay. The group calls for Pac-12 Commissioner Larry Scott, school administrators, and coaches to take a pay cut to prevent sports from being dropped amid the economic crisis. They also propose hiring a third party to address injuries in athletes' health. And on the issue of compensation, the players say they want the conference to split its revenue down the middle, sharing 50% with student-athletes. According to numbers released by the Pac-12 in July, the conference raked in more than a half a billion dollars in 2019. The players want a piece of that pie. While no individual athletes are named in the demands, U defensive lineman Nick Ford posted this statement on Twitter supporting the movement. He said, quote, I just want safety for me, my brothers, my brothers on other teams, and coaches alike. We are not just a football team and entertainment. Ford is not alone. Several other members of the Utah football team retweeted support for the cause. The authors of the demands claims they'll opt out of playing games unless an agreement can be reached. When asked for a comment, the Pac-12 sent me a statement. It said it has not been contacted by the group, but supports student athletes using their voice. You can read that full statement on our website. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.